Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own flying machine for all your Minecraft worlds. So this will work on survival and creative and anything like that. So, I'm going to be showing you two versions to this, a Java Edition one and a Bedrock Edition one. I'll be showing you the Bedrock Edition one first, and if you're a Java Edition player, just skip to um, the number that will pop up on your screen, and you'll be able to see that version of the tutorial. So, let's get into this tutorial right now. Alright, so to start this thing off, you're going to need to grab some materials. So, start by going down into your inventory and grabbing yourself some sticky pistons, some normal pistons, and, oop, we still need this one, some observers, and lastly, some slime blocks. There we go. To, to be, um, especially, um, you need two observers, actually, and one sticky piston, one, um, normal piston, and four slime, four slime blocks. We only need four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's exactly how much you need if you're on survival as well. So to start this thing off, you're going to need to um, get a block of your choice. Just grab 64 or anything. Just build a couple of blocks up high. Uh, let's just do four. There we go. And we'll be heading that way with our flying machine. So, firstly, going to grab yourself a observer and make sure this button thing is... Not this button. This like little light thing is facing this way with the arrow pointing this way. And you can mine that. And now, place yourself a normal piston facing this way. Now, grab yourself your slime blocks and place them two there and two here. Then grab yourself an observer, place it there with the arrow bit on top facing this way and a sticky piston facing inwards to this slime block here. Um, just letting you know that whichever way you want to go, make sure that the sticky piston is facing the way you want to go. So since I want to go this way, the sticky piston is facing this way. So if you wanted to go this way, for example, your sticky piston would be have, have to be here and facing this way. That's just letting you know what you need to do to make this. Then you can grab yourself like a trap door or anything to activate this. So put that on there and that should like power your sticky piston flying machine and you should be flying on your way this way. So to stop it, all you need to do is get an immovable block like uh, obsidian or bedrock or anything, but obsidian is probably the easiest. I'm going to build up a pillar just here. So get in the way of your um, flying machine, build up a... Ooh, I missed. Oh, no. <laughs> I missed. Uh, we'll build this up here. Is that going to stop it? Yes, it will. <laughs> there we go. So that... If it hits the obsidian pillar or any immovable block like bedrock or anything, it should stop the flying machine like so. But to go back this way, you're going to need to change over the pistons. So this one now will have to be the normal piston. So the normal piston facing this way and the sticky paste piston facing this way. Then grab yourself any block or a um, trapdoor, place that on there and it should um, power it going this way. The reason a trap door is good is because you don't have to keep placing a block, you can just open and close the trap door to get it going. So when it gets over here, I'll show you what I mean. So Alright, so just quickly before I um, hit this pillar, I'm just going to place some um, city in there. So there we go. So if you want to go back this way, all you need to do is swap over your piston. So sticky piston this side. I mean, normal piston this side, sticky piston this side, and just open the trap door and it should send the um, flying machine on its way. So, on Bedrock Edition, all you have to do is just stand on your um, flying machine and you don't have to touch your controller or mouse or keypad, keypad, whatever you have at all, and you'll just move with it. But on Java, it'll push you backwards, so you have to constantly be walking forward. So, that's pretty much the full Bedrock Edition version of the flying machine done. So, I'll get into showing you the Java Edition one right now. Alright, so if you're playing on Java Edition, you've just rocked up to this version of it. So, this is the Java Edition version. So, what you're going to need for this one is some sticky pistons. You're going to need two sticky pistons and two observers and four slime blocks. So, one, two, three, four. You're also going to need any blocks of your choice and an immovable block like bedrock or obsidian. So we'll just grab ourselves some obsidian because you can obtain that in survival. 
So start by um, building a couple blocks up with your normal um, disposable block or whatever you call it. Then place um, yourself an observer with this little light thing facing this way and the arrow facing this way. Then place yourself a sticky piston on it like that. Then place two slime blocks like that and two slime blocks like that. And grab yourself your observer with the arrows facing this way and the sticky piston on that, not that like that, just like that. There you go, that's your Java Edition 1 done. So obviously, um, I'm not playing on Java Edition, so it doesn't quite work. But this is actually a two-way um, a two-way uh, flying machine. So if you're playing on Java Edition, this would, when you activate it, it should just fly this way really easily and then you can activate it from up there and send it all the way back down here. So if you want to um, check out, I'm just going to smash this, if you want to check out an actual Java Edition um, um, tutorial, I recommend checking out one that just searched up, you'll find it pretty easy. But that is all you have to do to build a Java Edition one as well. So I hope that helped you as well if you're playing on Java Edition because I don't really play Java Edition that much, I play Bedrock. So that pretty much wraps it up for the end of the video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to chuck a thumbs up down below. And also subscribe because that really helps me out. And also make sure to comment on any video ideas you have in the future. And if you did enjoy this one, I might be sending a TNT flying machine bomber soon where you can like drop TNTs down from your flying machine so make sure to stick around and I'll be doing one of those videos reasonably soon as well so I'll catch you in the next video see ya